the chocolate street of Bariloche. Mamushka. Torres Chocolates. Rapa Nui. El Reino. Abuela Goje. Riche Patagonia del Budista. All looks delicious. Welcome back everyone, Bariloche, Argentina. We are here today out on Avenida or Calle Bartolomo Mitre. This street, Mitre Street, is basically the chocolate street of Bariloche. Bariloche, being famous for its chocolate, has many, many chocolaterias along this street. And because I want to do it, we're gonna try all of them. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you wanna help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video, enjoy. So Bariloche, when I was doing the research before coming here about, you know, what was Bariloche famous for? Why do people like Bariloche? Well, I found a lot that it was famous for outdoor activities, hiking, skiing, and adventure sports like kayaking and uh, like para parasailing and paragliding. All things that I don't want to do, <laughs> sorry. So I was thinking, man, what am I gonna make a video about once I get to Bariloche? If, uh, if it's all known for, you know, outdoor sports, hiking and skiing and whatnot. Then I found out it was also famous for chocolate. And then I knew, I knew at that moment, immediately, that I was gonna make this video. So I looked into it a little bit more and it's famous for chocolate because, um, you know, back in the like early 1900s, late 1800s roughly, around the turn of the century, there were a lot of Italian immigrants coming here to Argentina. That immigration from Italy actually continued on into the 20th century as well. And uh, here in 1947, a uh, very important, at least for chocolate, uh, Italian, gentleman uh, migrated here and immigrated to Bariloche. His name was Aldo Fenoglio and he started Fenoglio's chocolates here in Bariloche and from that beginning uh, his family members and some of the staff that he had hired at his first chocolate store eventually branched out started their own chocolaterias and now this is basically the capital of chocolate for all of Argentina and we're right here at the corner of Emilio Frey and Bartolomo Mitre. And this is basically the start of the, uh, I don't know, Avenue of Chocolate Dreams. From here, about five blocks all the way down to El Centro, there are uh, lots of chocolaterias, chocolate stores. Uh, probably about 10. And I'm gonna get a little something at each one of them. Now, I'm not gonna get a lot because obviously, like, I can't be buying 10, you know, stuff from 10 stores worth of chocolate and getting a ton at each one. I'm just gonna get something little just to try and see what we think. And we'll do a little filming and see what they look like. And uh, maybe talk about some of the more famous ones because some of them are, uh, they're, they're quite famous. So, let's start right here. Chocolates La Peninsula. Now this one I don't know too much about. It's not one of the like very, very famous ones. Uh, but, I mean, look, they got a lot of chocolate chocolate sauces, cocoa powders, different chocolates. Now a lot of these chocolaterias will also maybe serve like coffee. Um, see they'll have like a alfajore, some cafe. But let's go in and get a little something. I'm already getting super, super psyched about this, but we gotta figure out what it is that we're gonna get. What are we gonna try? Now, I'm not gonna try the same thing at each chocolate shop. I was, I was thinking about that, try the same thing, compare them, but I'm just gonna get something that looks good. Maybe this little chocolate bark situation here. 
La Peninsula, that place was pretty nice inside. They had a good um, amount of chocolate underneath the counter, but I decided to get something very simple to start with. And that is just two, two little milk chocolate hearts, right? Very simple. And we will see, we'll see how good they are right now. They are actually filled with caramel. I did not know that. But that is a welcome surprise. When you bite into it, it's got caramel inside. Quite good, not gonna lie, very, very good. I'm gonna eat both of these, and then we're gonna move on to the next store. All right, next up, right here, Abuela Goje. Abuela Goje, just right here inside Paseo de la Catedral, a little shopping mall. Looks like they have a little Oh, it looks like a cafe as well. They're serving tostados. And looks very good. Serving tea, cakes, tortas, different kinds of chocolate. They have a fondue set for chocolate fondue. And of course, there, there she is right there. Abuela Goje herself. Let's go in and check it out. Definitely some very good looking chocolates here. I think this time we're gonna try this Rama. Rama Leche right there. That's like a Bariloche kind of special. I don't know. It's like a chocolate that I think is only around here in Bariloche. Those are Ramas. It's like uh, they drizzle the chocolate out and it makes like a, almost like a bark. Let's get some chocolate. All right, shout out to Abuela Goje, right here. I uh, wanted to buy one of those Ramas, chocolate, right? The uh, bark-like looking chocolate. And uh, I said, oh, just one, please. And she said, oh, really, just one? And I said, yeah, yeah, just, I just wanted to try. And she said, okay, here, just take it. And I said, wait, are you serious? She said, yeah, yeah. I said, you don't want me to pay? She said, no, no, just take it, just try it. So, very, very nice. Thank you very much, Abuela Goje. Um, you get a, you get an A plus from me. And uh, if anybody's watching this video and they come here to Bariloche, make sure to go to Abuela Goje and check them out. Anyway, let's find somewhere to sit down and uh, try this chocolate. So here it is. Now the woman who helped me in there, the very nice woman who also gave me this for free, said that yes, this is, this is like a typical uh, type of chocolate from here in Bariloche, very typical. So, let's give it a try. Very good chocolate. Very good, Abuela Goje. Very, very good high quality chocolate. It's very tasty. Um, very good, A plus. I don't know what else to say. Chocolate is very high quality. It's a very interesting way to do it, the way that they've done with the Arama. And uh, I, uh, I, give it, I give it a top, top score. And I think we're gonna move on to the next place. And I've realized now, even getting just something small like this at each one of these chocolaterias, I'm gonna like be dead by the end of it. But it's worth it. I'm doing this for you guys. Next up, right here on the next corner, Across the street there, Arayan. Arayan Chocolates. There's the Rama again, looks like. Looks like that is very typical here. Got some very good looking stuff in here. They also have selling wine and beer. I've noticed a lot of uh, artisan wine stores and like breweries around here as well. Anyway, let's go inside. Let's take a look. 
Hola, ¿cómo te va? Uh, ¿Qué es? Eh, oh, no, no, no puedo uh, comer la maní. ¿Puedo, ¿Puedo filmar un poco aquí? Muchas gracias. Uh, ¿Esto no tiene maní? ¿No tiene maní? No. Uh, no de leche. Muchas gracias. Got a little chocolate, a sample of a chocolate alfa jore with dulce de leche inside. <laughs> Copa choco, choco copa, chocolate, World Cup. Very cool. All right, here we go. We got a rama, a rama from Arayan Chocolates as well. People in there were very nice. I told them I was filming a video for YouTube and uh, I think one of them at least subscribed. We'll see, but let's give this thing a try. We can compare it to some of the other places that we've been so far. Very good. When compared to uh, Abuela Goje, say it's a little softer and not as sweet. Abuela Goje was uh, the chocolate was quite sweet. So if you like sweet milk chocolate, that's the place to go. This is a little less sweet. But it's still very good. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to rank these places. I'm just going to tell you. All of these places are probably going to have really delicious chocolate, no matter what. So, unless something stands out as like horribly disgusting, I'm probably going to give these all an A. This is quite good chocolate. Let's check out the next chocolateria, and that is right here, Chocolates Catedral. Chocolates Catedral. Well, it's a very small shop here. Let's go in. Take a look. They have, in addition to chocolate, some preserves here. Some artisanal fruit liquor. And of course, the chocolate. Lots of different kinds, but they have the Rama right here. They have a Rama right here. Let's go in and get a little something. Hola. ¿Cuánto va a costar? Ahí, una ramita. Sí, sí, solo uno. Chocolates Catedral. Very nice people in there. Of course, I mean, you know, we're here in Argentina. People in Argentina, super nice. And so we got today from there another rama. I think this is maybe going to be the thing that we get from every place. Originally, I had said. I had said I wasn't going to get the same thing at every place, but I think I probably am. Let's give this a try. Mm. Very good. Very good. Pretty, pretty sweet. A little bit flakier. Not as soft as like uh, Arayan. A little bit flakier. Quite good. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I realized we're not going to make it if I eat one of these at every one of these places because I will have eaten like 10 or 12 of these things and I'm going to throw up somewhere. So we're going to hold on to the rest of it. I think by the end of this I'm going to have a lot of <laughs> leftover chocolate that I don't know maybe I'll take it take it as a snack for later or something but that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Chocolates El Catedral.
small, small store, but very delicious. Packs a punch. Next, we're going to go across the street. Another small store here, right next to this little mall. And that store here is Bonaficio. Bonaficio Chocolates. Bonaficio Chocolates. Hola, ¿cómo te va? ¿Puedo filmar un poco? Muchas gracias. Lo siento si mi español no es bueno. Eh. Todavía, todavía estoy aprendiendo. Once again, a very small store, Bonaficio. That one in uh, Chocolates La Catedral, or Chocolates Catedral across the street. Both very small, but had a good selection in there. Of course, they had the Rama, which is what we got. Rama. We'll take a, take a little bite, see how it is. Very tasty. Very tasty. A little bit flaky. Um, sweet. But not too sweet. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to explain that one. It's good. It's a little something. Like it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't as. Um, I don't know. Like it wasn't as strong or rich as some of the other places. It was good. It was very good. And now we're getting up to like the main area where like on this next block basically there's like five or six of these places we're standing right in front of one of them but across the street on the corner there's mamushka and then el reino de los chocolates the king of chocolates or the kingdom of chocolates uh that place looks super super fancy right there the kingdom of chocolates uh, and this place I know, Mamushka, is one of the like real famous, I think kind of older chocolaterias around here. And there are a couple more right down the street here that are also very, very famous uh, here in Bariloche. One of them is, uh, I think, called Torres. Uh, and then there's Delicias Chocolates right here. Del Turista Chocolates, which is this huge one right there. And then also a place called Rapa Nui, which uh, is also quite famous. But let's first go into uh, Mamushka here, and we'll see what we can see in Mamushka Chocolates. This place is huge. Some of these places, like the ones we've been to so far, have been very small. But man, this place, this place is big. And this, I know, is one of the very famous, like, amongst tourists, very famous spot. As you can see inside, there's a lot of people here. It's very big. You have to take a number. They have a lot of staff working here. The stuff that they have under the counter that you can buy. And there it is. La Rama. Hola, ¿cómo te va? And they do have a cafe in here too, which is cool. In the back. All pastries. Cafe. Very cool. Alright. Because at this point I realize I may have made an error in judgment. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to eat this much chocolate. Even just trying a little bit of each one of these places, I've realized there's like, I don't know, eight or ten more places i got to go to. So, we're going to stop. We're going to stop trying chocolate. I'm going to get chocolate. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm going to buy chocolate at each one of these places. But uh, luckily, here at Mamushka, they gave me a little bag. And now, I can use this little bag 
to put all of the chocolate that I buy. So I'll basically go to buy a Rama at each one of these places, but I will put it in the little bag and then I can like whittle them down over the next uh, several days eating a little bit of chocolate instead of like forcing myself to eat all of this chocolate like right now. Anyway, since we've been to Mamushka, we should go across the street here to El Raino. El Raino, the kingdom of chocolates. El Reino de los Chocolates. This place is very fancy. Very fancy, very big also in like this kind of big uh, alpine looking structure. Fits very well with the uh, alpine architecture around here. Lots of delicious chocolate. They have non-chocolates under here too, like little uh, gummy jelly type candies as well. I've noticed that in some of the other places. And they have Rama, Rama Leches. Lots of boxed stuff. Lots of like gift stuff around here, obviously. If you're coming here to Bariloche and you need like a good big gift, you could buy, buy a gigantic carton of chocolate. Not bad. Let's get ourselves a Rama. El Reno de Chocolates. That place was very nice as well. Very, very nice inside, very fancy. Um, I asked them just to buy one Rama. And they said, well, it's, it's too small. We can only charge you like if you buy a certain amount. And uh, then they just gave it to me. So that was very nice. And I said I would say very nice words about uh, El Reino de Chocolates. And uh, yeah, that place was good. El Reino de los Chocolates. If you want to come and get some, go to a place that's like pretty fancy um, and get like a nice gift for someone from here in Bariloche, that would be the place to go, I think. El Reino de los Chocolates. Next. We're gonna try this place. Delicias. Delicias de la Patagonia. Delicias de la Patagonia. Chocolateria Naturista. Natural chocolates. Check it out. Alright, that place was very, very nice inside as well. Not very big, but very, very nice. But speaking of very big, here we are at Del Turista. And this place is in a, like a big mall, a big sort of shopping center with like a, a gym up, upstairs, which I guess is nice. If you go to the chocolate store, you can go upstairs to the gym. But this place is huge. Um, basically takes up like half a block. And this is one of the quite famous uh, chocolate shops, chocolaterias here in Barlote del Turista. So, let's go in and check out Del Turista. Yeah, this place is gigantic. There's a huge cafe like in the back. They have helados also, ice cream, up in the front. The entire gigantic candy section back here where they have chocolates and all kinds of candies. Holy cow, this place is gigantic. And it's in the same building as the sport club gym, which is nice. Come and get your chocolate and then work it all off at the gym. I mean, all of this is like, let's be honest, it all looks delicious. The Ramas here are gigantic. I don't know if I should get one from here. Maybe we'll get a little something else. Maybe we'll switch it up. Try something different. This is kind of cool. They, you can see them making the chocolate here. They haven't haven't had this in any of the other chocolate shops. Be able to see them making the chocolate. 
quite cool, very unique feature. They also have pastries here, sandwiches, little meals. I mean, it's a whole. There's a whole cafe with little cookies and tortas, cakes, and a whole coffee area with a cafe in the back. That place is pretty cool. It's gigantic. It's really big. Might be nice to come, like stop at the cafe, and uh, if you were if you were planning on buying more chocolate than less chocolate, that would be the place. Torres. Torres Chocolates, and on the other side, this big one all the way down to the corner is Rapa Nui. And these are both places that I have heard of and that I think are quite famous for chocolate here. So let's go check those two out. Here at Torres, Torres Chocolates, 15% off for students. Let's go. Go inside. Hola, ¿cómo te va? Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Está bien si filmo un poco? Sí, sí, obvio. Muchas gracias. Very little that place, Torres. Very little, but they had a nice selection. Got ourselves a Rama from there as well. And uh, the place right next door here, not little at all. And that is Rapa Nui. Rapa Nui looks like uh, a lot like Del Turista in that there is a whole cafe. Let's go in and take a look. There's a whole cafe. There is. Uh, Helados, ice cream, over here. Very busy, lots of people here for ice cream. There's a cafe. Oh, this place is gigantic. They have all kinds of uh, dulce de leche and preserves and jellies. All kinds of stuff in here. Chocolates by the registers. Oh, and here's the chocolate section of the Rapa Nui. There is a lot of chocolate in this place. It's gigantic. This is a huge operation. I would say of the more famous ones, Del Turista. Um, this place and the Mamushka are all like the biggest operations, right? Because they have chocolate, they have uh, ice cream, they have a cafe section with coffee and pastries. All right. Let's get ourselves a Rama. Little place right here, so little I almost missed it. And that is Riche Patagonia. Riche Patagonia, Tienda de Chocolate. Which claims to be all locally made chocolate. Makes me think that perhaps some of these places are getting chocolate from like, you know, it's being made somewhere else and they're just selling it here. I mean, there was obviously right across the street at uh, Del Turista where you could see them making the chocolate, but let's check this place out. Ariche Patagonia. Uh, quiero comprar una rama, una rama de, de leche. Uh, he estado filmando un video para YouTube uh, sobre las chocolaterías y uh, he probado uh, una rama en, en cada chocolatería. Pero ahora no, no puedo comer más. Claro, claro. Es, uh, es demasiado. <laughs> Pero. Um, Mira vos, qué lindo. Sí, sí, quería, quería, quería mostrar uh, todas las chocolaterías en Mitre. Riche Patagonia. Bueno, ahí a la izquierda, por ejemplo, tenés una ¿Sí? eh, estufa que en realidad es una. Oh. Esa, Esto es súper viejo, tiene más de 100 años. ¿Más de 100 años? 
Uh, muy interesante. Esta tienda es muy vieja. Es vieja. Sí, más, más de, no, más de 100 años, ¿no? <laughs> that place was very nice inside, very cozy, kind of small. Um, I was talking to the woman who worked there. She said that it's pretty old. It's been there a while. As you saw, she said that that that, uh, that old stove, right? That old uh, stove that was heating the place it was very old, older than 100 years. She said the store wasn't older than 100 years, but also she gave me a little piece of chocolate for free. So. I have good things, nothing but good things to say about Riche Patagonia. Anyway, we are coming close to the end of our tour here. We've been to pretty much all the major places, and the last one we're going to go to is right there, across the street, Frantom Chocolates. Frantom Chocolates, which looks kind of new. I don't know, it looks a little newer, but let's go check it out. Frantum. All right, we're here in Frantum Chocolates. They've got some pre-packaged stuff over here. More than just chocolate, which is kind of cool. This seems to be a larger gift operation. They've got beer and wine and different other products, tea. There is a whole cafe section up here where they've got pastries, they're making coffee, Star of the show, the chocolate. And all the way down here at the end, chocolate en rama. Nice place. All right, I think that's gonna be it. We're right here, entering the main square in the center of Bariloche. And I wanted to point out, there's also a Havana chocolates right here, which uh, is a very good chocolateria, um, but they're like a big chain. There's tons of locations of Havana um, all over Argentina, all over South America, actually, I think. Like if you go to the airport, there's a Havana there. Uh, so I didn't want to include them. Not that their chocolate isn't good, honorable mention for Havana, but I wanted to go to the uh, like local Bariloche chocolaterias. And speaking of Havana, there is actually, if you uh, head uh, like west of here, out towards uh, El Cerquito Chico, the little road that goes around in the beautiful uh, forest out there, which I will let you know right now, uh, in our next video, we will be touring uh, out there, so stay tuned for that. But if you head out that way, there is a Museo de Chocolate, a Museum of Chocolate, that is uh, actually owned by Havana. But uh, from what I've been told, it's basically just a Havana chocolate store that has a little section with a few like signs about how, you know, like the history of chocolate, and they show you a little film about the history of chocolate and they shuttle you right into the gift shop. So, uh, not something that I wanted to try. If you're here and you want to see it, go for it. Tell, and if you have been to it, let me know down in the comments what you thought about it. But I think for here, from here, in the uh, central square here in Barrio Loche, we are gonna end this video uh, about chocolate. Now, I uh, didn't manage to try yet chocolate from every one of these places, but I mean, honestly, it's chocolate. It's like artisanal homemade chocolate in Bariloche. It's going to be delicious. I don't know why I was thinking that there was going to be some chocolate store here that would have like horrible, horrible chocolate. It's obviously not going to happen, but I think that's it. I've got a chance to see all of the famous chocolaterias here in Bariloche. And stay tuned, like I said, there's going to be a lot more from here in Bariloche, including uh, us taking a little mini road trip. That's coming up in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned for that and I uh, hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you in the next one.